Man, you can, you can go back. Yeah. Hello, everybody. This is part two of the coming meteor apothis to um, possibly hit the earth. And this is just the first one. I will put a link below. It tells about a dream that a prophet had. His dreams come true. He also gives an example in there. And so you can go check it out. This side is a scientific facts. Some of the things I'm going to list came from Mike around the world that often gets um, some, he talks to Paul Begley. You can look him up on YouTube. He has a lot of current events and things that relate to the Bible. If you haven't ever been here before, my name is Cindy Kay, and I talk about a lot of strange things about current events and try to figure out how it lines up with the Word of God. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, subscribe below and give me a like if you like this video. After this video that I'm making today, the second part, talking about Apophis, the meteor, which could be the mysterious wormwood spoken of in Revelations that happens in the seven years tribulation or near it. Um, I am going to make a video that is so eye-opening that it has answered all my questions about Bigfoot. It has answered all my questions about Dogman. It's answered all my questions about the Nephilim, the giants that create that were created from the angels that came down. They are the half human, half giants. This includes humans, birds, animals. You've heard me talk about it before, but there is such a bigger picture of why this is happening. It's going to blow your mind, and it is literally sobering. I've heard of drunks sitting in bars that they had such a sobering thing happen. They were instantly sober. I'm telling you, this is a sobering thing, so you don't want to miss it. I am going to uh, try, probably combine all those facts in with uh, filling you in on what's been happening around here, or I may make a separate video. I'm not sure yet. Now for today's second half. Mike from the Round the World, like I said, is on the Paul Begley program that you can find on YouTube, and I will put a link below to his uh, to one of the videos that you can go listen to if you want. What would happen if Apophis this meteor that's hiding behind the sun that is headed for Earth that NASA has not wanted to let us know about, that scientists have hid facts from us, that uh, what would it do when it hits? Well, it's going to annihilate 75% of what all's on the Earth. But the other things it will do before it even hits here is what's starting to, you're beginning to see right now, that, like I put in the first of this video, the... Um, major volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, earthquakes, uh, severe weather. He said, and I'm just going to tell you what he's saying will happen as this planet begins to get closer and closer. And by the way, the closer it gets, the faster it starts coming in because it's being pulled by gravity. And so it's speeding up. But so far, it's not supposed to hit here. If it hits, which the prophet said it's going to hit, but who knows? God can change things. And this is why Jupiter is called the baseball bat of the universe. Because it diverts so much, so many meteors, so much that would have hit the earth. It kind of like draws it into it. So there's a chance Jupiter could play a big part in saving us from annihilation okay but anyway one day we know for sure according to the bible there will be a meteor that does hit earth and it will be called wormwood and it will poison the waters and fish will die in the seas and there will be a lot of bad things connected with it so we do need to watch this in case it does happen all right, did you know that just this week the earth began to tilt? It tilted significantly, and it's going to continue to do so. In fact, it's tilting so much now that the star constellations will be slightly in different areas than they used to be. All this is fact. Mike around the world was talking about it. He said this 
pretty soon you will be able to see two moons. The real moon and then a brown dwarf moon. I don't know. We'll watch for that, right? But he said when this thing begins to come in, you're also going to see extreme weather. Volcanoes, like I said, major earthquakes, tornadoes will be like hurricanes, and they will be in miles and miles wide like never before. There will be extreme dryness. He said that it would um, crack your fingers open. I thought that was crazy. He made a point to say, that um, Arizona will flood. There'll be so much water in Arizona that it will flood. That he said that the entire United States could be covered in one storm at the same time. Now that he said the new the weather may say where the men may call it several storms combining into one big system. But he said no, it's really going to be like one huge storm. We're dealing with Izzy right now. If you can look outside, we dodged a bullet. We got about a, an inch, and it's it. the roads didn't get bad or anything. But on the East Coast, they're dealing with this thing. Uh, there are tornadoes today that hit Alligator Alley down in Florida, Louisiana, I mean, Florida area. And do we have fla <laughs> Gator naders now? <laughs> Flying gators? I don't know. May have been, you know. Anyway, the closer the planet gets, the more extreme the weather is going to get. He said hail will be prevalent. There, It will be so dry that fires will just ignite themselves. Now, I live in the woods, so that alarms me. I don't want to get burned out of here, okay? So I'm already praying about that. He said that the closer this gets and the more our earth is wobbling and, and getting thrown out of uh, its normal line. Excuse me, my nose itch. That happens a lot. I, ha I do have allergies that I deal with and I love my cats. I'm not getting rid of them. Okay. So anyway, people will experience motion sickness. Now, I don't look forward to that because I've always had to deal with that. I get, I've used to get car sick. I don't like windy roads. I mean, so you guys that are more susceptible to that may experience that. More prevalent headaches and migraines. And it's weird because the last two weeks, right in the midst of the earth tilting, I had two terrible sudden migraines come on me for no reason. So when we start seeing this stuff happen, we've got to... Look at the facts. There's something going on. And they have acknowledged there is a meteor coming behind the sun, but they have not acknowledged in NASA that it is going to hit the earth or could. When the 45th president was in, they say, Mike around the world said, that's why space, the space program was invented. So they would hopefully be able to divert this meteor they knew that was already headed to Earth. But then they decided, well, if they hit it, it could splinter into millions of pieces, and, and then we'd have a, a rainstorm of huge meteors hitting the Earth all over the place. <clears throat> or, or, you know, it could be diverted and sh shot off into some other area that would do more damage. This one coming, if it hits at the, the, ver the coordinates it is on right now, they think it will hit somewhere in Mexico. Holy smokes! And that it's going to be hu so huge, I don't think the U.S. would be here anymore. I'm not sure, but I believe God can stop this. But I'm not telling you it's going to happen. I'm not saying God's going to stop it, and I'm not saying the thing isn't going to hit. I'm just saying it could. Uh... It might hit or it might not hit. But are you ready if it does hit? Do you know where you're going if you die? Do you know? That's the fact. Okay, so these are a few of the things that could be happening. I know that if you just look around at the signs of the times, you can tell that something's going on very biblical right now. And if you don't know about the Bible, and by the way, I lost a lot of its subscribers after I put that last video in. Was it because I mentioned Jesus? I hope not. 
but for whatever reason, maybe I just don't float their boat, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter other than I want the few that want to hear to hear because we don't know if we've got guaranteed tomorrow or a long life. We don't know what God's got in mind for us. We can assume and we can calculate that the normal people last this many years and this will normally happen, but we're not living in normal times. Things are ramping up. And so we have got to be ready. I am not looking forward living in Tornado Alley to tornadoes that are miles and miles wide and blow as strong as hurricanes, straight line winds ahead of it. If any of us watched the weather and the news, we saw what happened in Colorado when the wildfires got loose. The wildfires also cause winds to ramp up. There's fire tornadoes. We don't know, but things are getting bad. So we have to be prepared that if something happens, we know where we're headed, okay? So that's all I'm going to say about that. I just wanted to let you know, these are some of the things that in the next few years, as soon as this year we just stepped into, we are going to see some major weather earth changes that are going to be affecting the whole entire earth, not just me, myself, and I. It's going to be everywhere. So keep your eyes on the weather. And you that like to look at stars, check the constellations. Are they out of orbit? Are they in different places? Have any of you been feeling kind of having headaches? Have any of you had any problems like I have with uh, sudden migraines coming? Have you felt the motion sickness yet? I haven't, but have any of you? Just let me know and um, look forward to my next one because it's pretty eye-opening about the Nephilim. The Nephilim, I'll give you a little hint. They think they're in charge of everything that goes on on this world. They are trying to help Satan with his dirty deeds and agenda. I'll talk real deeply into it in the next video and fill you in on some of the things around here. And I'll probably do it really quick after this one. So look forward to that. And I'll talk to you later.